Welcome to the April 8, 2019 meeting of the Florissant City Council. Please, please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Thank you. Roll call, please. Harris. Here. Jones. Here. Egan. Here. Caputa. Here. Childroth. Here. Hankey. Here. Pagano. Here. Parson. Here. Siam. Here. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes. Are there any corrections and additions to the meeting and executive meeting minutes of March 11, 2018? Hearing none, Councilman Hinky moves to approve the minutes, second by Councilman Egan. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Minutes are approved. Next item is hearing from citizens. I will make a motion that we change the agenda and move Eddie's Heroes Second. before hearing from citizens. Second. Second by Mr. Egan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Say something first, Randy. One of the uh, more uh, popular uh, innovations by our uh, police department uh, has been the addition of uh, Eddie to our police force. Uh, he is uh, very popular with uh, everybody, but particularly with children uh, and uh, and also seniors. And uh, Eddie has uh, been a great uh, public relations tool for our city. Uh, and we thought we would use uh, this opportunity, having the popularity of Eddie and uh, uh, the reaching out to the public uh, to show uh, maybe a little different side of our uh, personality uh, as in law, law enforcement, uh, is to uh, recognize uh, individuals in the community who have uh, uh, stepped out and uh, gone above and beyond uh, to help someone else in the community. Yes, Mayor, I think this program's been very successful. Uh, Lori Mann is uh, Eddie's mom or one of our <laughs> officers, and she does a great job with Eddie. Eddie's very popular, and this is another example of how we can recognize people in the community that step up and do a good job and do the right thing, so. Okay, okay. Or do you wanna say something? Yeah, this is um, a great program that we started in the city it, and to recognize the younger people and the younger citizens of the city, and I think it's great. And I have one for my ward tonight, so it's great. Thank you. Okay, the first one goes to Abby Mandrell. Abby has been involved. Abby has been involved in the Be Like Jesus Day for the last two years by washing cars to collect money for charity and cleaning planes for the Army. She has donated half of her Christmas money to toys for the homeless and food for Team, pa team Food Pantry. Abby has taken part in many lunches for the Oasis Shelter and has been involved in making cards for shut-ins and nursing homes. Abby makes life better for people through gift of service. Okay, this 
22nd Eddie's Heroes Award goes to Allison Weidman. In school, Allison steps up without being asked. She helps other students by being a positive role model and having a positive attitude. Allison helps a child with several medical conditions that impact him physically. Allison helps him study and helps him with his belongings and any materials that he may need and constant encouragement. Allison has set up a lemonade stand and donated all the money to a charity to assist with the field trip. Allison has volunteered to clean up the area around school. Allison has volunteered for an event to feed the homeless. Allison inspires parents and teachers at her school, as well as inspiring those in her community. And the last Eddie's Heroes Award goes to Lily Scanlon. Lily has received an award through her school, and she constantly helps other students and teachers alike. Lily has volunteered with the Florissant uh, VFW and has helped with events during the Valley of Flowers, Wednesday night out, 9-11 ceremony, and the Veterans Day ceremony. Lily has spent hours helping the organization Friends, Friends of Kids with Cancer by organizing their toy closet and making food deliveries to families who lo whose loved ones are going through treatment. Lily has volunteered for the Christmas party for kids at City Hall. Lily is always willing to help no matter what you ask of her. <coughs> Can all of our Eddie's heroes come on back up for a picture? Next item is hearing from citizens. This is the time to speak to the council on any issues not necessarily on the agenda for three minutes. This is not a question or answer period. If you would like to speak to a council member or the mayor, please stay until after the meeting is over and we'll get with you. If you're here to speak on a public hearing, please wait, then you can speak during the public hearing. First one, Don Adams. Good evening, my name is Don Adams, and I want to thank you all for letting me to come up here and address issues. Uh, the issue I want to talk about tonight is the uh, adult daycare centers and shopping centers. I do not believe that this should be allowed. I think it's a safety hazard, first off. Uh, I think it's uh, safety, unsafe for the people that are there. I think it's unsafe for the people that drive in shopping centers, <clears throat> and I would like to see this uh, bill go into the uh, dead bill ba basket, I guess, uh, so to speak. Uh, I appreciate you giving me the time to speak, and thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Zach Schneider. Good evening, Mayor, City Council, Mr. Hessel. My name is Zach Schneider. I reside at 1420 East Duchesne Drive. Many of you do on the council know who I am. Uh, we've been acquaintances for some time. 
Some of you know that I'm a retired Navy Chief Petty Officer, uh, spending 22 years in our Navy, serving on three combatant ships, deployed five times uh, to the Persian Gulf, one deployment to Bagram, Afghanistan, and Kandahar, Afghanistan, and ending with a three-year tour in Sicily with Task Force 67. This whole time, I was a resident of the city of Florissant, and I was always voting. I never missed an election. My first assignment was crew member aboard an aircraft carrier called the USS John C. Stennis. This was the first aircraft carrier named after a United States Senator because of his decades of great support to our Navy. In fact, his nickname was the father of America's nuclear Navy. I later visited Senator Stennis's home in the great state of Mississippi. He served 41 years, 41 consecutive years in the United States Senate. I can only think of one other person who has served longer consecutive in office. That happens to be Carl Vinson, another United States aircraft carrier namesake due to 50 plus years in Congress representing the state of Georgia. After 22 years in the Navy, I could have moved anywhere else, but I chose to come home to Florissant, Missouri. You know, we have one person in this room who comes close to these two men and has served 40 consecutive years in office representing our great city of Florissant, Missouri. With 32 years sitting on it, this council, and eight of last years as our mayor. Prior to that, he spent nine years serving in our Navy. Mayor Schneider, I'm proud to be your son. I'm proud to call you my father. And I salute your service, sir. Thank you for your sacrifice and your service to our country and to the beautiful city of Florissant. It was a job well done. I love you, Dad. Thank you, Zach. Very well said. Next item is communication. There are none. Next item is public hearing. Public hearing number 1904005. Is a petitioner present? No, right. Notice is hereby given in accordance with Chapter 410020 of the Florissant Code of Ordinances, the subdivision ordinance, as amended, that a public hearing <coughs> will be held by the City Council of, Florissant, of the City of Florissant, St. Louis County, Missouri, in the Council Chambers at 955 Rue St. Francois on Monday, April 8th, 2019, at 7.30 p.m. on the following proposition. To approve a final subdivision plat of Lot 1 of Florissant General Baptist Church resubdivision for the property located at 360 Graham Road. Citizens and parties of interest will have an opportunity to be heard at said public hearing. Anyone with special needs to contact the city clerk at least five days before said public hearing by calling 839-7630 or TDD 839-5142. I'm Doris. Good evening. Good evening. State your name for record, I'm, please. I'm Doris Carter. I'm get it down. I'm Doris Carter. I'm the church clerk at Florissant General Baptist Church. We've been partners with Fresh Winds for seven years, and now it's time for them to buy the part of the property. My name is Dr. Milton Mitchell Sr. I am the founder and pastor of the Fresh Winds Christian Church. And behind me are just some of our members <laughs> who are here in agreement with the, the, the purchase, and we are here to ask for the council to uh, again approve the subdivision. Thank you. If anybody has any questions, we're here. Mr. Shouldraw. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I visited with uh, Pastor Mitchell on Saturday 
and looked at the property, and he explained uh, what, he's, what he what he what he was going to propose to the council. Um, also spoke to Miss Carter on Saturday, and these two have been neighbors for many many years. And this is a si simple subdivision of a lot, which the pastor is going to use for parking spaces, and. They've been very good neighbors and very good stewards to each other and to the, to the city of Florissant. Um, both churches are very active in our community and um, planning and zoning had very minimal questions and the process was very quick. And um, if this was a, a bigger project, I would uh, treat it a little bit different, but this is a simple subdivision of that piece of property from one church to another. And um, I wish you well, and uh, I think it's great that you're uh, working together and providing more spaces so folks can go to church and be active in our community. And like I said, both the churches are very active and they're good stewards of our, of our city. And uh, I have my full support, Ms. Carter and Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Shildroff. Can I say something really quick? I just have to say something really quick. <laughs> if anybody wants to blame anybody for me being up here, this is the woman that recruited me almost 20 years ago in Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> she did a good job. Thank you, guys. I love you. You did a good job. <laughs> She was an easy one to train. <laughs> Mr. Shildroff. With this coming to light, I, I think I might be changing my opinion. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I should have waited until I voted. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shildroff. Before we close this public hearing, is there anyone in the audience who would like to comment or speak on this um, public hearing? Seeing no further comment, Councilman. Shuldroff moves to close the public hearing, second by Councilwoman Pagano. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? Thank you. I just have it. Motion carried. Public hearing is closed. Next item is old business. Bills for a second reading. Bill number 9474. Councilman Siam moves for a second reading, second by Councilman Parson. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Ordinance authorizing special use permit for an adult daycare center for the property located at 119 Flower Valley Shopping Center. Councilman Siam moves for a third reading, second by Councilman Egan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ordinance authorizing a special use permit for an adult daycare center for the property located at 119 Flower, Flower Valley Shopping Center. Before the final vote is taken, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak on this bill? Hold on. Hello, everyone. Um, I was coming to present um, the new updated to the updated business plans to the council. You Living you Essentials Adult Day Center following business plans updates. Yeah. Living Essentials Adult Day Center participants cannot drive due to their physical disabilities. Therefore, we provide. Can you state your name for the uh, record, please? Kanisha Elijah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Living Essentials Adult Center following business plan updates. Living Essentials Adult Day Center participants cannot drive due to the physical, dis physical disabilities. Therefore, we provide transportation. At the last meeting on March the 25th, 2019, the council stated their concerns about the shopping center not being a safe location because there's a fire lane at the entrance of the building. Living Essentials has taken the time to implement an arrival and dismissal plan to ensure the safety of our participants. Living Essentials will assign additional support staff during arrival and dismissal times. We will be 
It will be company policy when loading and unloading that every participant is escorted by a staff member. The landlord of Flower Valley Shopping Center is also willing to make the following but not limited safety improvements to the front and rear of the building. Installing a ramp at the entrance of the building, building, installing a crosswalk in the front of the building, installing additional stop signs in the front and rear of the building, designated handy handicapped parking spaces in the front and rear of the building, any additional improvements in the front and rear of the building requested, requested by the city of Florissant. With the following safety improvements implemented above, Livna Central's Adult Day Center is asking for your approval of 119 Flower Valley Shopping Center special use permit. Best regards, thank you. Thank you. State your name, please, for the record. Don Adams. Uh, again, uh, I get kind of confused on this stuff, so I'm not sure how you guys are voting. But I just want to strongly object to this. I mean, you know, years ago, we didn't have this kind of stuff, and people were more uh, courteous the way they drove, the way they acted. Nowadays, uh, I don't care if you put 50 stop signs and 50 red lights in a parking lot, people ignore them. They fly by them. And, and to, to authorize something like this is just not safe for the people going there. It's not safe for the f community of Florissan, and it's not going to make the community of Florissant look any better to have storefront daycare centers. I'm, I'm sorry, I, this needs to be voted down. I mean, there's just no logical reason to have this kind of thing in a shopping center. Again, and I hope I'm not reiterating myself, but it's just, I just am very upset about this whole issue of, of coming up, and I apologize for that. So thank you all very much. Clerk, please hold the council. Harris? Yes. Jones? No. Egan? No. Caputa? No. Schildroth? No. Hankey? No. Pagano? No. Parson? No. Siam? Fails. Bill number 9474 9, fails. Bill number 9480. Councilman Shuldroff moves for a second reading, second by myself. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Ordinance authorizing an amendment to code section 126065, wage increase and in schedule, section A, job classification and grade level by adding a new position of property maintenance and housing inspector. Ms. Pagano moves for a third reading, second by Mr. Hinkey. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Ordinance authorizing an amendment to code section 126065, wage increase and in schedule, section A, job classification and grade level by adding a new position of property maintenance and housing inspector. For the final vote is taken. Is there anyone in the audience that'd like to speak on this bill? Seeing none. Clerk, please poll the council. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Caputa? Yes. Shildroth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Bill number 9480 passes and becomes ordinance 8500. Board appointments. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Caputa. I'm trying to remember uh, who the first person is that I was that I appointed to a committee back in 1979. Uh, but tonight will be my last appointment. Uh, I have an individual that I'd like to appoint to two different committees. Uh, first of all, I'd like to appoint uh, Navy retired uh, Chief Zach Schneider to the Veterans Commission. Second. Second by Ms. Pagano. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. And Ms. Pagano and I would like to nominate uh, Zach Schneider to the Traffic Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Okay. We'll take care of it. I got it. Congratulations, Zach.
Next item is resolutions. Resolution number 1010. Resolution of the Florissant City Council recognizing and thanking Thomas P. Schneider for his eight years of service as mayor of the city of Florissant and his many contributions to North County. I'll move for a second reading, second by Mr. Schildroff. Is there any discussion? Ms. Pagano. Yes, well, I know that um, I can't beat you on this one, Zach, because mm -hmm. that was very nice um, for your dad. Um, but Tom, I believe up here on the council that I've known you probably the longest. Um, you were a city engineer when um, my dad left this council and went to the county. And then you also served with my brother um, on the council. So one, I would like to thank you for encouraging me and supporting me when I decided to run for the city council. Although at times, I'm sure you said to yourself, as I said to myself, what was I thinking? But over the years, you and I have had our shares of ups and downs, agree to disagree moments, and unforgettable screaming matches. <laughs> but it's all been for the betterment of this city, and our common goal was always to make this city the best it could be. With that being said, we have also shared many good times and laughs during meetings, conventions, dinners, golf outings, and campaigns. I can honestly say that you know how to run a campaign like no other. We have had many great propositions passed for this city when we all work together. You have also taught me more history about our country and our city than I have ever learned in school. <laughs> so, and you've also attempted to teach me how to improve my golf game, which proved true after I outdrove you in a tournament. That's and I true. believe I did that twice. <laughs> more than that. Yeah. So, you have also learned that I really didn't have a rash on my neck. But it was me trying to tell you that the mayor announcement sometimes went on entirely too long and you needed to cut them. <laughs> So I would also like to take a moment to thank Rachel, who I believe is out of town right mm -hmm. now. So probably resting up for all the Mondays she's going to have with you yeah. tonight. <laughs> so. And also to the Schneider family. Coming from a political family, I know the sacrifices that are made over the years. Wow, Tom, 40 years. It's a long time. And you deserve to go eat ice cream after you take the dairy pill. <laughs> Drink bottled group beer, play golf, travel, and most of all, enjoy your beautiful family and those beautiful grandchildren, knowing that you have served, served this city well and are leaving it in good hands. All the best to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pagano. Mr. Parson. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mayor Schneider, I just want to congratulate you on the, uh, the 40 years of service uh, to the city of Florissant. Uh, makes it even better that you're a fellow CV. Uh, I know we have that can-do attitude, even though Mr. Uh, uh, Jeff over there kind of hates it a little bit. But, um, but I just want to thank you for all your service. 40 years is definitely a, a long period of time. So I've got a list of a couple things that have happened over the last 40 years. Um, <laughs> just to remind you how, how much time that you have put in. First of all, Saddam Hussein was, became the president of Iraq in 40 years and was removed over the last 40 years. Um, the World Wide Web was invented. <laughs> the trial of the century, O.J. Simpson, occurred. It did. The Y2K scare, remember when everybody thought everything was coming to an end in the year 2000? That occurred over the last 40 years. And lastly, I know a bunch of teenagers are not going to believe this, but the iPhone was invented <laughs> during this time period. Okay, uh, I know it seems like the iPhone has been around forever, but it hasn't. Tom was serving before the iPhone came about. so. Again, thank you for your service, and uh, I appreciate the work that you've done here for the city of Florissant. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Parson. Mr. Shuldra. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to thank Tom for his many years of service 
to the city of Florissant and to North County. I'd also like to thank his wife, Rachel, and Tom's children for lending him to his calling for this period of time. That is quite a sacrifice, both personally and with your family. I remember my first meeting as a councilman for many reasons. At the conclusion of that first meeting, Tom looked at me and gave me what he said was the most important piece of advice he could give a freshman councilman. He looked at the wastebasket behind this dais and said, remember to throw everything away in this packet after this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and I collaborated on a few projects and the majority of them were met with a positive response from the administration. On the rare occasion when there was some pushback, Tom and I conspired together to find a place where the late Mayor Bob Lowry couldn't find us. <laughs> the late mayor eventually got his man, but not before some good detective work. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I won't tell him where the place is. Tom made his mark within the city by working with the late state representative Jay Russell to improve our MSD Creek infrastructure. While other cities struggled early on with MSD, Tom worked with this utility company for progress and it is even more evident today. I've had the pleasure of working with Tom on the creation of our disc golf course, the managing of our 18 hole golf course, and the development and passage of Proposition S for street replacement and repair. Former Councilman Tim Lee, Council President Jeff Caputa, and myself approached Tom with this ballot issue and with his assistance and guidance presented the initiative to the voters and it passed by a two to one margin. Once again, a good infrastructure, infrastructure project for our city, a trademark of Tom's. Tom, I know you will stay busy out of public office. Thank you again for your service and sacrifice. Thank you, Mr. Oldroff. Mr. Egan. Thank you, Mr. President. Tonight, we've already, we've already heard, and you may continue to hear, that the speaker and Tom didn't always get along. You may hear that there was some screaming matches and certainly disagreements. People who serve in politics are very strong-minded and verbal discourse is healthy. Wouldn't it be boring if we all felt the same and agreed on everything? Ultimately, we may have a common location where we want to get, but we have different ideas on how to get there. And I hope that when it's my last evening up here, that the members of this council say the very same thing about me that we didn't always get along, but we had common goals in mind. Before Florissant, Tom served as a Navy CB in Vietnam. In an era where it was not unheard of, or in some circles not unpopular, to burn one's draft card and flee to Canada, Tom, like many other young men and women throughout the history of this great country, served under leaders like George Washington, Ulysses Grant, Douglas MacArthur, William Westmoreland, and even in conflicts today, they kissed their families goodbye, never knowing whether they would see them again. They, like Tom, eagerly accepted the challenge to do what's right in protecting our great democracy. Tom, I personally thank you for your service, and I mean that. Thank you, Jim. Tom returned home to Florissant and began serving the people of my ward, Ward 3, in 1979. In 1979, the price of gas was 86 cents. <laughs> ESPN was launched. And if you wanted to buy a, a brand new Mercury Cougar RX-7, you'd had to shell out 6,300 bucks. And if I bet, if you, if you asked Tom what his phone number was back then, he would have started with Temple 7 or Temple 1 <laughs> or something like that. I bring this up not to debase Tom in any way, but to bring a unique perspective to just how long he served our city. Tom has been with Florissant for over four decades. He has been here during the very, very best of times, and some of those days were very troubled as well. Tom was on the council in 2008 when a recession devastated many communities throughout our country. Tough waters. Tough decisions and tough times called for tough leaders and tough, tough
tough decisions, unpopular decisions. One of the decisions was made that the council decided to slash salaries, cut salaries of our employees, our most valuable resources. Our most valuable resource. Tom took the helm of the city in 2011. And under his administration, certain forces have been placed in motion that will impact our community for decades to come. The city was able to restore the employee pay cuts of 2009 and have steadily increased, increased compensation for our employees since then. Under Tom's administration, three measures, like I said, that are critical to our future were passed. Tom, with the help of Mr. Lee and Mr. Shildroff and Mr. Caputa, worked hard to prep, pass, pass Proposition S. Prop S will ensure that our street infrastructure will be viable for decades to come. Tom was one of the many torchbearers for Proposition P, which will ensure that our police department is equipped and funded and trained and will continue to keep us one of the top 10 cities in the state of Missouri. Perhaps the most important proposition for Prop A and R, which Tom worked with Councilwoman Pagano and Caputa and Mr. Jones to my right, right, or my left. This administration worked with the council to ensure that this and create that these propositions created a partnership between landlords that will ensure that the properties that are rental properties are not only kept up, but everyone's property values are maintained. Walking away from public life will be difficult for any person who's been in, honored enough to be elected to serve. And I would ask that Tom take one more challenge as Mayor Emeritus. The city of Florissant is currency, currently experiencing the greatest challenge of our history. The greatest challenge to our very sovereignty. The Better Together proposal would decimate our city and negatively impact every one of us. Our rich traditions, our storied past and our bright future. Our police, our streets, our equipment, our parkings, and even our savings account would be forfeited. I ask Tom to accept the challenge and continue to serve the Florissant by working with local, state, and federal authorities to slay the monster that is before us. Finally, I want to thank Tom for his many years of service. Tom, as everyone in the room knows, is a big history fan, so I wanted to end on a quote. George Washington led his troops across the Delaware on a frozen Christmas in 1776. He was quoted as saying, damn, it's cold. Can't we do this in June? <laughs> no. no, I take that back. He, he, he may have said that, but that's not what he's quoted for. He did say what I am going to follow with, and I hope that Tom accepts my challenge and bears this with him as he does so. Washington said, the harder the conflict, the greater the triumph, and I hope you take that in, in going forward. Tom, Kelly and I wish for you and Rachel and your entire family the best in whatever it is that the good Lord has in store for you next. Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mr. Egan. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Yeah, Tom, we've uh, had our ups and downs. Uh, to show that I don't uh, hold grudges, uh, I wish you well on your retirement. Uh, it's been a long time coming for you. You put a lot of years into the city, and uh, I think you'll see us prosper and uh, keep moving, Tom. So uh, I think you'll be proud of us, uh, the way we end up pushing the city without you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Mr. Hinkey. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Tom, thank you for all your years of service. Uh, we can spend the rest of the evening for our deserved and sincere praise for the things that you've done for this city. But I'm looking at it from a little different perspective. I hope six months from now that you I, I have dinner with you, lunch or something, we go out and have a beer or whatever the case may be, and you look at retirement and say, this is the best job I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wish for you and Rachel. Enjoy your retirement, sir. You've earned it, every bit of it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hinkey. Yes, Mayor. Um, I've been on the council almost seven years, and it's it's been a, a wonderful ride with you, buddy. It really has. It's been a good ride, ups and downs, but that's that's on that's everything. 
not just in political, that's in everyday life. We all have our ups and downs, but we got to move on. And um, we, all, we have that same common bound, bond that a lot of people can't say because of the oath that we took twice with the oath. Going into service, being a veteran, we're losing a veteran on the, as a mayor and a person that sits up here on this dais. It seems like veterans are not around like they used to be. You know, and so we're going to miss you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Hassel. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Jackie indicated that she has what, <coughs> the longest tenure in knowing the mayor as a council member. Um, and I'm a little hesitant to admit this in light of the comments that Mr. Parson and Mr. Egan made about all the time that has passed, but I have the distinction of working with Tom Snyder, the city engineer, starting, you were in 76, I started in 77 as the assistant city attorney. So I had the distinction of working with you then and working with you as council member Schneider as the assistant city attorney and then for the last 31 years as the city attorney for council member Schneider and Mayor Schneider. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? Long time. Um, and it really has been an honor to work with you in all those various capacities. As others have indicated, you and I didn't always agree on everything, um, but that's expected. Um, but we always agreed that we would work together for this great city. Um, and at the end of the day, we were arm in arm, hand in hand, however you want to characterize it, trying to do the best for this city. I would be remiss if I didn't mention a few of the many awards of leadership that you've received, particularly just in the last few years. You are the, what, 2019 North County Inc. Leadership Award winner. You won the Buzz Westfall Award for Excellence from the St. Louis County Municipal League, and I think it was 2017. I know that you've been recognized by the North County Churches Uniting for Racial, racial Harmony and Justice, which is quite an honor and distinction as well. I can't begin to, to mention the numerous committees and campaigns that you have served on, all for the betterment of Florissant, North County, uh, and the state of Missouri in general. I also witnessed you get a hole in one in a golf tournament that we <laughs> played together in, which was quite a pleasure as well. Um, as Jackie said, I, I, I can't do justice as Zach did in commenting and honoring you, but I do want to thank you seriously for your dedication, your service, your commitment to Florissant and watching you as the chief administrative officer for the city of Florissant, for all the employees of the city of Florissant as well. It's been a distinct pleasure and honor to work with you. Uh, um, I'm confident that although you won't be holding the same position that you and I will be able to enjoy each other's company whether or not you take the I assume you will take the challenge that Councilmember Egan has posed to you we can go hand in hand in that as well and maybe we'll get in a couple of rounds of golf as we go through this so seriously uh, Tom Councilmember Schneider Mayor Schneider thank you very much for everything you've done it's been an honor Thank you, Ms. Hustle. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution of the Florissant City Council recognizing and thanking Thomas P. Schneider for his eight years of service as mayor of the city of Florissant and his many contributions to North, to North County. Councilman Jones moves for a third reading, second by. Councilwoman Pagano, roll call, please. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Caputa? Yes. Childroth? Yes. Henke? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Resolution of the Florissant City Council recognizing and thanking Thomas P. Schneider for his eight years of service as the mayor of the city of Florissant and as many contributions to North County. 
Before the final vote is taken, is there anyone in the audience who would like to, sp like to speak on this resolution? Seeing none, clerk, please poll the council. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Puda? Yes. Childroth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? No. Resolution 1010 passes. City Council in the City of Florissant, your proclamation, congratulations for the years of service you have sacrificed for this city. Thank you. Next item is bills for a first reading. Bill number 9481. Ordinance authorizing a final subdivision plat of lot one of Florissant General Baptist Church resubdivision for the property located at 360 Graham Road. Move for a second. Second. Mr. Scholdroff moves for a second reading, second by Mr. Egan. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I just have it. Ordinance authorizing a final subdivision flat of lot one of Florissant Ge General Baptist Church resubdivision for the property located at 360 Graham Road. Councilman Schildroff moves for a third, second by Mr. Egan. Roll call, please. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Caputa? Yes. Schildroff? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Ordinance authorizing a final subdivision flat of. Is that the final? No. Of, of Lot 1, Flores and General Baptist Church, resubdivision for the property located at 360 Graham Road. Before the final vote is taken, is there anyone in the audience who'd like to speak on this bill? Hearing none, pl clerk, please poll the council. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Caputa? Yes. Childroth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Bill number 9480 passes and becomes ordinance 8501. Thank you. Next item is council announcements. <laughs> Mr. Hanke. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, following up on uh, what I had mentioned at the last council meeting, Ward 6, as most of you know, uh, has a lot of the Valley of Flowers events are in Ward 6, the parade, the fairgrounds, and all that stuff. I mentioned at last council meeting, we're going to have a ward cleanup. It's going to be um, two days, a few hours each day. Uh, there will be a mailing coming out to Ward 6 residents. But it's going to be April 27th on a Saturday and April 28th on a Sunday, uh, which is the weekend before the Valley of Flowers. So what we want to do is keep kind of Ward 6 cleaned up, put our best foot forward for the crowds that will be here, uh, and there will be a mailing coming out with further details on it. I just want to make it perfectly clear, this doesn't have to be a perfectly structured event. I'll have an event, a, a time where we can meet, uh, hand out some bags, do whatever we need to do, but if, don't feel obligated to show up at this location to be part of this. Take care of your street, take care of your property, take care of your neighborhood, whatever you need to do. But at the end of the weekend before the Valley of Flowers, I'd really like to see well, Ward 6 cleaned up to put our best forward, our best face on the Valley of Flowers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hankey. Mr. Jones. Yes, uh, I'll be planning on a Ward 2 cleanup too. I'll be doing one with my kids, and I'll also be doing one with the residents of Ward 2. Uh, I'd also like to let everybody know they better slow down on Lindsay Lane or you're going to end up with a ticket. Uh, they are out there doing their job, so if you're speeding, you're going to end up with one. Another thing I'd like to mention, uh, our city is going to be in good hands uh, with our next coming mayor. I look forward to pushing this city uh, to its fullest tilt with this council and our next mayor. So uh, I know he worked very hard for this. and. Uh, like I said, I think we're going to do some great things for this city. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Egan. 
Ditto on what Mr. Jones said regarding speeders on Keevan. If you're on Keevan and you're driving fast, you're going to get a ticket. Boo-hoo. Okay, let's move on. I want to thank everybody who uh, attended and helped out the St. Ferdinand Charity Barbecue and basketball tournament that we had for over five weeks this last month in March. We benefited Elijah Paul, who is a young Ward 3 resident who's struggling, still in the hospital, but doing a lot better. And especially thanks to Mayor Schneider, P Council President Jeff Caputa, and Chief Larry, who came out and presented the trophies to the winners. It was well received, and people from places like St. Charles and St. Peter's uh, stopped by and told us what a great time they had in the city of Florissant, and then they will be back. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Egan. Yes, uh, firearms, like I always say every council meeting, make sure you keep your firearms locked up. Do not leave them in your car unsecured. Uh, this week, MoDOT, it's um, work zone safety awareness on the highways and municipalities, no matter where you're at, there's work going on. Please be aware of the construction work going on and the workers out there. Um, it's very dangerous for us to be out there working. I, I am in construction. I see it every day. What It is very dangerous out there for us to work. So make sure you're out there and you're aware of all the construction work going on around, your, um, around the city. Um, also, Neighborhood Watch, make sure you join your Neighborhood Watch program. Get a hold of Officer Michaels at the um, Florissant Police Department and he can hook you up to get um, signed up for Neighborhood Watch. Thank you. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone on the council for the uh, resolution and your kind words. It's very humbling. I'd like to thank Ms. Regan for the uh, hard work on St. Ferdinand March Madness that always benefits uh, worthy and needy recipients, and everybody on the council has different projects like that that you work on outside your council duties. And I salute you for all the uh, uh, unheralded things that you do for the community. In regards to the challenge, uh, the Better Together Challenge, uh, the, the words that Washington actually said prior to crossing the Delaware, uh, they were pinned on the other side of the Delaware River to get away from the British the British, fortunately for them, kind of took the winner off and let the German Hessians in charge of Trenton. And Washington said, F it. Victory or death. <laughs> so it's victory or death over better together. That's my motto. And my goal will be to embarrass Mr. Singfeld. I now announce to a few announcements. Uh, just recently, the New York Times did a feature article called 36 Hours in St. Louis, and they recognized our own narrow gauge railroad company located at 1595 US 67. And so visit www.narrowgaugestl.com to find out more. Um, the big 50, 550 KTRS is coming to Florissant on a Friday of uh, Valley of Flowers weekend. Uh, they'll be doing their uh, radio show from uh, noon uh, at the ice rink, noon to 3 p.m., broadcasting live from the uh, Valley of Flowers uh, flower uh, sh uh, plant show from our garden club. This is gonna be the uh, 57th uh, Valley of Flowers. Uh, it's the 100th anniversary of the Florissant Valley Fire Protection District so when you are taking your children on rides down at the Knights Grounds, just remember you're on the site of a terrible fire 100 years ago last January that destroyed a three-story huge building called the Loretto Academy. Uh, and uh, since they couldn't put that fire out, they didn't relocate here. And so we decide, we uh, formed the For For Forest and Valley Fire Protection District first as a volunteer fire brigade and then as a full-time fire district. Um, for Easter, we got the underwater egg hunt Friday, April 12th. We've got the uh, regular egg hunt on Saturday, April 13th. We got egg decorating on April 17th. Uh, we're going to have a veterans job fair on April 19th. A uh, document shredding day on April 27th. And a garage sale on uh, 
Let's see, I guess that's going to be April 27th also. That's that big garage sale at the ice rink. Sign up for the, it's already started for uh, summer playground program. And save the last dance for me. I remember uh, my first meeting on this dais over to my left where Mr. Egan sits. I can, I think I can count on one hand how many meetings I've missed in 40 years. I've looked out at this room from this dais many times. I estimate that I've attended about 920 council meetings, uh, over 100 budget meetings, about 180 department head meetings. That amounts to about 1,200 official meetings, and that doesn't count gatherings for presentations or social functions. I've always liked this view, and I'm going to miss it. It was another call to duty. In 1967, I was in college at Rolla, but I had a strange feeling that I belonged someplace else. That feeling was a call to duty that was both compelling and frightening. My generation was at war, and I was a child of the greatest generation, and I admired them. What to do? I didn't want to field combat, didn't want to be a sailor or a flyer. And I read about the 25th anniversary of the Navy Seabees in March of 67, and I knew that was it. I could get on the job training in civil engineering uh, and while well, still serving my country. And as a bonus, I got lucky enough to go to Vietnam twice instead of once. <coughs> After four and a half years of active duty, I returned to Rolla earning a degree in civil engineering. In December of 75, I got a routine job with MoDOT, but I wanted something more dynamic had an interview in late 76 with Mayor Egan at the very same desk that I work at now. I became the city engineer and also filled in as street superintendent and public works director. In 79, Ward 2 Councilman Jim Minert told me that Ward 3 Councilman Ken Fowler wasn't running for re-election and I should run. I felt that call to duty again. I hit every door in Ward 3 and won a six-man race. I won 10 more times. In 2011, I felt another calling. Mayor Lowry retired, and I found myself in another six-person race, and I won that one too, and then I was reelected in 2015. So I'm 13-0, and retiring undefeated as one of the longest continuous serving elected officials in the state. I've had a lot of fun and fulfillment as a city employee, council representative, and mayor. And I've tried my best to do what my conscience dictated and to see the right path as God gave me the vision to see it. For me, city business is always interesting and compelling, but not easy. The mayor has to make the final decisions and be responsible for the consequences. Those decisions must be made if the, with the best interest of the majority of the citizens of the city and must also take our outstanding employees into consideration. Those decisions cannot be made based solely on public popularity or to please the employees, or any department heads, or the city council. At the end of the day, I knew that whatever decision was made was on my watch. Regrets? I have a few, but as Sinatra sang, too few to mention. I never backed down from a fight, and the people here in this city have read about some of the Downey Brooks I've had over the last 40 years. I've mayor, as mayor, I've had disagreements with the council, I've even had a few with our esteemed city attorney. But I have to ask everyone, give them a break. They can't always be right. Only the mayor is always right. I know that Jim Egan and Bob Lowry had that attitude. And I know that Tim Lowry has the right stuff to continue the leadership needed to continue the progress. I pray that office holders will refrain from holding personal grudges in the old days, we fought like cats and dogs, and afterwards, we ma maintained civilities. I've tried hard to turn the other cheek, with the exception of when the office I hold has been treated with contempt and disrespect. In the military, we saluted the rank, not the man. In civilian life, we must respect the office held, even when we have personal difference with the official. Now I'm going to take my cue from my all-time favorite TV star, Jackie Gleason used to say, and away we go. 
Good night, everybody. And I always say that Florissant people are the greatest people in the world. Next regular meeting of the city city council will be Monday, April 22nd at 7:30 p.m. 2019. Councilman Jones moves to adjourn the regular meeting. Second by Mr. Harris. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Meeting is adjourned.